There's a really, really cool idea for OnlyFangs that's got me excited, but at the same time, it's like, it's a month from now, which pisses me. It actually hurts more because of the fact that I could make OnlyFangs happen right now. That'd be a stupid idea. No one would be ready for it. It would lose all October, like people are expecting in October. People have made plans for October. But the fact that I still can makes it harder to wait. It sucks. It's like Blizzard's releasing a hardcore server, but I actually have a button I can press that releases it earlier. It sucks. Um, that is a good idea with someone with low social... Oh, you've already seen it. I forgot you have access to that Discord, Gusney. Um... So we're going to have in-guild racism. Um, it's going to be sick. Um, Viki had the idea. We were, of course, high, as where all good ideas come from. And I don't know what she said. She said something that, like, she... Did she bring up, like, Hogwarts? I think she brought up Hogwarts or something. And she's like, we should have like a system like Harry Potter, but with orcs and trolls. And then we were just sitting there expanding on the idea. Um, so what we're going to do basically is you're going to take a quiz. Every person in the guild, everyone is going to take a quiz. And that quiz is going to assign you a race. Troll, undead, orc, taran. You cannot back out of that race. You are locked into that race. And we're going to have race representatives. Um, we're going to have a point system, just like Harry Potter. We love that. Um, and that point system is going to be basically the re replacement for FKP. And we're going to have loot advantages for the team in first place. So if the orcs have gotten the most points, they will roll 1 through 100 on all loot, like normal. But second place rolls 1 to 95. And then maybe Tarans are in last. They have to roll 1 to 85. They actually have a loot disadvantage. Maybe something like that. We could obviously tune it. Um, and we're going to give out points. Like the first level 60 in the guild. Let's say it's a troll. Trolls get three points. All trolls. Let's say the first death in the guild is an undead. All undead lose three points. Um, and I'm looking for more ways to like, I want trolls to hate Torrens and Torrens to fucking hate the undead, yada, yada. So we're trying to find out more stupid fucking things. Um, but I do want there to be racism. I think that's important for society. Of wow. <laughs> it's, it's, I, gotta, I gave it a pause there. It's, Uh, hold on. The other thing is, uh, retail sucks ass. Well, it doesn't suck ass. It's just, I'm so distraught that 1v1s are bad that I don't really know what I would do streaming wise aside from raid, mythics, and arena, which is like, you know, the main content. But as you know, streaming wow and trying to make fun content that people actually want to watch. The only thing I'm left with are transmog contests. I don't want to do that. So that sucks. I don't know what to do in the game. I, I'm literally sitting there just twiddling my thumbs like, what do I do? And even when Arena and Mythic and all that comes out, yeah, I'll stream it. I'll Especially the first day. God, especially the first week, couple weeks, sure. But after that... I mean, 1v1s are just gone. I, I guess they've been gone for multiple expansions, but that's always been, like, my go-to. Like, hey, I want to do something that's actually playing the game, but also fun to watch. 1v1s. Can't do that anymore. Uh, hide and seek again? Yeah. The only thing you can actually do that will help is getting brand to 15 in Delves, but that's autistic. I'm not doing that. I don't care enough. Being a one character in the war within, yeah, not much to do. You also don't care about Renown. You're right. I don't. You're absolutely, there are things to do, but nothing I can bring myself to care about. Um, and I do kind of want an alt, but I also would rather at that point log out and play Core Keeper, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, VK and I played, the game is sick. I think it's fully released now. 
so. I didn't mean to have this speech during Coldplay, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're trying to hammer out the idea of creating like people are it, it, there's downsides to people getting locked into a race like i i remember telling everyone we're going horde and i checked the only things discord a lot of girls were upset because none of the races were pretty um and now i imagine them getting locked into Taran and fucking crying so what are you gonna do about it so and also let's say they wanted to play a druid they're like, oh, I'm going to play a druid this time. Like, they're super excited, but then they get undead. Now what? You have to play a class within your race. Your race is assigned. You can play anything that your race can do, but you have to play your race. So anyways, uh, do sexism and give women more choices? <laughs> I think the only exceptions I'm going to give um, is like... couples i guess maybe like friend and best friend because I, I think i'm only going to allow uh races to trade within each other that might be a little too far it's already too difficult probably but i do want like if a guy if a couple are playing like wow together i want them to be the same race sort of so like they can take the quiz but they both have to play the same whatever they both get too many rules people will complain yeah maybe but instead of doing the you know the furry quiz this is actually going to have more of an impact i think it's going to be funny couples take the quiz together yeah with some exceptions like maybe some the boyfriend starts playing and then like you know half a week later uh he has no time for his girlfriend so they're they're like well i guess i'll play wow well with you can i join yeah she can join sure um, but she has to play the same race that you are. She doesn't have to take the quiz, but the boyfriend was undead. She has to be undead. That's it. Or even, even friend and best friend, people who want to level together, like we'll make some exceptions here and there, but overall, yeah. Weird rule. What's the weird rule? Oh, no race mixing. Wait, that actually sounds so bad. My point, the point of it is. <laughs> okay, the point of it is, um, I'm thinking about making it to where only races can trade within each other. Because that would like kind of promote the trolls working together to become the highest 300 leather working, earning trolls points, right? Um, but if like the girlfriend and boyfriend are playing together and leveling together, now they can't trade to each other while playing to, and that's going to suck, but maybe too complicated. You're right. Keeping it simple might be ideal. Your guild will need a troll enchanter and orc enchanter and undead enchanter. Exactly. You're fucking right. But that you're right. That also might be too much. Uh, I also want to have race representatives. So uh, I think I'm going to have like a voting system and they're going to vote as their representative. Uh, and that might be the council of races and they'll be the ones that, you know, vote on stuff overall. So. Does the undead representative need to look like Aspen? <laughs> Just call them tribes so you don't get canceled. I think it's funny. <laughs> That's so much already. It is a lot, but I think it's worth it. Anyways, that idea got me really fucking excited for OnlyFangs, and October cannot come sooner. It makes me super sad. Also excited, but sad because it's a month away. Um, it it kind of fixes the issue. I wanted to have, I wanted there to be competition. To an extent, like, sort of joking competition, but still competition. I wanted to get the Spanish community to play Classic WoW. I needed someone to play the opposite faction as us. But I don't think we're going to get anything like that. And the only people that would play the other faction would be... Not complete who's, 
but in the grand scheme of how big our guild is probably gonna end up being who's so it wouldn't really be a competition it wouldn't count it suck this kind of fixes that Duels between races. You can have a little duel tournament. <laughs> yeah, you could do... I mean, there's a lot of things. We can do hide-and-seek. I mean, a lot of it's probably going to be fun shit. Like, the winner of hide-and-seek is an undead. Undeads all get points. Um, I'm just excited for Russell. Whatever, like, he ends up getting. Uh, he's going to basically make his race lose all the points. And everyone's going to hate Russell. That's going to be funny as f to me. Instead of races, why not just make sub guild factions like Harry Potter houses? Because it's funny that they actually are trolls. Like we did furry shit in the Alliance side, but it's like, how do you implement that? I'm a scaly and hate the canines, but now you really are a troll. You really are an undead. We'll see. Anyways, that's the idea. I already told everyone only thinks about it. They all seem really excited. Um, I told them the downsides. I said, you will not be able to fully pick your class. It seems like not a lot of people are complaining too much about that. It's worth it. So we're probably going to send that idea. Uh, Novak is already working on the add-on. He, he sent me a notepad last night. The add-on to track whether or not you... You can only trade within the guild, Right. So that's really what the add-on does, since we're not doing just purely SSF. Uh, and he also needs to work on the quiz for the sweats. Sweats will not be allowed to pick their class. Um, they will have to take a quiz, and that picks a class for them. And the way we're going to do it, uh, first they're going to take a quiz that represents their race. So let's say they get assigned, for sake of easy, they get assigned Druid. Okay, great, you're a Druid. But then they take the race quiz and they get assigned, or no, sorry, I did that order. They get assigned undead. And they take the class quiz and they get assigned druid. That doesn't make sense. So instead of druid, it'll, say, it'll take the second place that they got. Let's say it's a warrior. Well, now they're an undead warrior. So those two quizzes have to get made. Um, I think that's mainly it. The only thing I'm worried about with only things at this point I think we need to recruit more, or at least it's hard to tell how many like new people we'll have as the day gets closer. It's hard. It's a month from now, so that, and I'm worried about the difficulty. But we need less sweats. Yeah, no, we do. We have too many. 